Now, what makes this worse, Cliff, and I think this is a good entryway into the procedure, is you and I both teach aggressively that adult cricothyrotomy is a blind, no retractor procedure you do by feel, and that light suction or any form of retraction is completely unnecessary. And we pound this into people's heads. And now things are a little different for pediatric uh, tracheotomy. So tell us about that part first, Cliff. Yeah, this is so important to get our heads around. And I struggled this, with this for a while. As you say, we teach adult cricothyroidotomy as a tactile procedure because we're expecting it to bleed. So we're not expecting to see the structures that we want to enter with our blade, our bougie, our finger, and so on. So, um, but you just can't do that with the infant airway because you've got a small, floppy, slippery structure in the middle, which is the trachea, and then you've got small, uh, floppy, slippery structures very close either side, which are the carotid sheaths. And one of those you want to penetrate, and two of those you don't. So you have to see what you're doing. You, you won't be able to feel tracheal rings because they're just not hard. And you've got to get through subcutaneous tissue, fat, often have to cut through thyroid, and that's going to bleed. Um, so you're expecting to have to look for this trachea. You have to look for and identify tracheal rings. When you see the rings, you can cut through that structure. So it's really tricky. So now you guys have in your kit a headlamp so that you have the ability to have good lighting wherever you're working. You have suction and you have retractors so that this is going to be like very close to an operative tracheotomy um, where you're actually gonna be seeing what you're cutting versus just hoping and praying based on your finger feel where you're going. So that's the first real sea change in uh, the mindset on this procedure. 